The U.S. ambassador in Manila announced on October 14 that Washington had provided the Philippines with $100 million in foreign military funding. The cash is intended to boost the military modernization and defense capabilities of the Philippines. Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson stated at a press conference on board the USS Ronald Reagan, which is making a scheduled port call in Manila, that the United States has now provided $100 million in foreign military funding in part for the Philippine military to use as they wish. The amount, Carlson continued, could be used by the Philippines to compensate for its choice to scrap AP 12.7 billion, 227.35 million dollars deal with Russia. From 2015 to 2022, the Philippines received 1.14 billion dollars worth of aircraft, armored vehicles, small guns, and other military equipment and training from the United States, making it the largest beneficiary of foreign military aid in the Indo-Pacific region. The latest military spending reflects strengthened defense ties between the treaty partners under President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. The relations between America and the Philippines, its longest treaty partner in Asia, deteriorated significantly under the administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte. President Marcos, who met with his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden last month, also welcomed the visit of the USS Ronald Reagan and reaffirmed his pledge to maintain peace and stability in the South China Sea. Following its participation in joint maritime drills between the United States and South Korea, the nuclear-powered warship made its first port call in three years in the Philippines. <laughs>